Hi, this is uh, Med Z from the Med Z Trading Show, still Monday. I um, want to talk to you today about a very important topic. It's called dynamic position sizing. Now, this is a very subjective approach to trading, and you have to decide um, if it applies to you. And let me explain to you first what it is. So basically, dynamic position sizing is where you basically change the number of lots or the number of positions that you trade based on the odds of the trade. So trades with better odds, you will trade uh, with a larger number of lots and um, trades that you have um, you know, less likelihood to be successful with, you trade with less lots. Now, again, this is not something that everybody could apply. I don't think this should uh, be implemented by beginner traders, but I would say medium to advanced traders uh, that understand the risk of leverage and understand the risk of uh, bigger sizes and so forth. I think that majority of people out there are very comfortable trading just the same number of lots each time, which is 100% okay. However, this is just a different approach where you trade just a little bit more because you think the odds are more favorable, um, uh, the market conditions are more favorable and you have better odds of winning. Let me just explain the pros and the cons of dynamic position sizing. So the first one, I think that dynamic position sizing can reduce potentially the account volatility. So as you know, equity, um, futures trading equity can experience very high swings uh, between wins and losses. And so to reduce this volatility, you can apply position, uh, dynamic position sizing. The second thing where you see the um, um, improvement, I would say, or the pros to dynamic position sizes is you put more weight on the trades that have better odds. So now you basically have all kinds of setups and all kinds of indicators and so forth. You put more weight on the ones that are likely to be more successful. Of course, um, you have to understand that you take uh, bigger risk with that as well. The, the, um, the third advantage I would say is that the trades that have um, a lower chance of success or their win ratio is much lower then you apply a smaller size of uh, trades. And again, um, that could potentially reduce the volatility in your account. And the fourth one, I think this kind of approach of dynamic position sizing could potentially, again, help with your psychology um, or your emotional psychology, I would say, of the market, where basically, um, you know, when times are not that favorable, you know, you reduce the number of lots and so forth. However, every pro uh, has a con. So let me talk to you a little bit about the cons of such a method or what you should watch out for. So the first one, determining a quality of a trade is extremely hard. When you decide um, to uh, distinguish between higher odds and, and lower odds, it's really important that you do it very, very objectively. And for most traders, I would say it is really hard. Um, the second thing is that you have to use very specific um, formulas to do that. It is not something necessarily visible uh, to the naked eye. You have to use formulas, for example, like R multiple. Um, I suggest to investigate what R multiples are. Uh, and when you do that, it would give you a better um, and a more objective approach as opposed to just an observational approach. Um, the third thing I would say that is um, kind of very hard is to be um, objective about it. And I find that most traders are very subjective about their good trades and their bad trades. So again, um, you have to resort to things that are calculated or formulas that have, have to do with cash management, winning ratios and so forth and not just observational. Um, the um, fourth one again, it's the psychology of trading. Um, I find that when people um, go through uh, losing periods and consecutive losing periods, they might apply dynamic position sizing at the wrong time and at the wrong place because they want to recover. And again, 
you need to use things that are more, uh, um, I apologize, uh, things that are a little bit more objective. In any case, that's it for uh, dynamic position sizing. If you need any help or further explanation, you can always call us. We're here to help you. Go to optimistfutures.com and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.